Dallas could soon be doing restaurant inspections differently. City Council will soon be serving up a proposal that would change how often they're being looked at. Aaron Jones live in Dallas with what consumers need to know. Aaron? Gilma and Ken, right now, every food establishment in Dallas has to be inspected twice a year, but the city says that should change for places like the gas stations and convenience stores. They say both food inspectors and people dining out would benefit. I've been in the Dallas restaurant industry for 26 years. Right. 18 years. And in that time, Brad Fuller, the director of operations at Albernay's, and Tony Winkler, restaurant developer for C&W Holdings, have seen a lot of growth in their industry. There's just so many restaurants right now, it's really overpowering. It's really uh, become a dining scene. The city of Dallas reports since 2015, about 500 new restaurants have opened each year. And some believe because of this, food inspectors now have a lot on their plates. They're spread thin. They're coming in, they have 25, 35 stops. So I think they are a little overworked and I think it's a little unfair. This week, City Council will present a proposal that they believe will allow inspectors to better utilize their time and benefit people dining out. It's very important for the health department to, to get their job done correctly and not be rushed in the process. The city wants to sort restaurants, convenience stores, and gas stations into categories according to levels of risk. Restaurants that handle raw foods would be considered high risk and would still be inspected twice a year. Twice a year, I think it's a good, a good timeline. For places like 7-Eleven that sell processed food that's temperature controlled, inspections would happen once a year. CVS and other stores that don't have kitchens would be inspected once every two years. I think that's a very smart idea on the city of Dallas's part. It makes us perform better when they're performing well. And tonight, a city spokesperson says in the next year, they expect the number of restaurants in the city to increase by 135 percent. Another reason why they say these changes are needed now. Reporting live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.